Let's join in our call to worship as it is printed for us. It is good to give God thanks, to sing praises to the Most High. We will sing for joy to God, who has made us glad. Let us declare God's steadfast love in the morning. And God's faithfulness by night. So come to worship God with thankful, joyful hearts. Let us praise God's holy name together. And as we enter this worship, we are attentive to the life and the mission of our congregation, the work of this church in the community and uh, beyond. And so a few uh, announcements just to keep us aware. Uh, first of all, I would say welcome back, Mike. Good to see you again. And uh, wonderful to see that you're able to get moving around a little bit more fully and uh, we'll look forward to full recovery for you soon, okay? Your prayers have been welcomed by Michael and his family and uh, just the attentiveness of, of keeping on top of what's going on with him. He is home, uh, recovering and working hard with physio to get things functioning properly, so we're thankful. You might notice I have something a little different than what I would usually wear today. I have a name tag on. <laughs> <laughs> All the other stuff is the same, but a name tag. Why are we having name tags again? Why are we uh, trying to focus on that? Well, partly because we're getting people back into the congregation and into the flow of, of a life that, uh, that was disrupted in so many ways. And it's time for us to wear our name tags for a while because we've been seeing a number of new faces coming and going among us. But also, we're getting you practiced so that in August, when your new minister comes, she will be able to see all of your names and not fumble at who you might be. And it makes it a whole lot easier for a new minister to have a name in front of them on your, on your lapel, saying, this is who I am, love to meet you. And so it's a welcoming thing. And we just encourage you uh, to get used to wearing the name tag now, and, uh, and if others are coming and you don't see it, hey, there's a name tag for you. We want to know who everybody is. I would say also, next week, next Sunday, uh, we have two Sundays left, and I know this countdown thing might uh, feel hot to you. It feels strange to me, believe me. Um, but next Sunday, we are going to have uh, what I'm calling the Sunday of Sacraments. We have an infant that is uh, going to be baptized. It happens to be with a family that has been watching us online. They are getting our services and they are following us in that manner. That's a new thing for us. We need to get our heads shifted a little bit around what that could mean and how we need to recognize that. And so next Sunday we will be uh, baptizing this little infant uh, in this family and you'll get to meet them in person and hopefully welcome them in a way that uh, encourages them maybe to come out and be with us in person, but they might choose to be online. And that's a new step for us, a new way of understanding how people are engaged with our congregation. Another new step to learn more about. So I'm calling it a week, a Sunday of Sacraments, because we will also have a communion service together. We did not have our Sunday service at the beginning of the week, the beginning of the month, I wasn't here. I was thinking that we would hold it whole communion on the last Sunday, but I think that Sunday is going to be jammed up with a few other things. And so I figured, let's have the next Sunday, a sacrament Sunday, where I would, uh, yes, it would be my last time presiding at the sacraments with you in our community. But it gives it focus, and it gives us attentiveness as to why that is so important. 
And then the Sunday following that, of course, will be the retirement Sunday for me and a time of recognizing the times of ministry and mission that we've been involved in together. So we have a full slate on our plates until the end of the month. And I'm encouraging you to be here and to invite others to come and be present as well. I'm very aware, and this is part of our prayers that we need to be attentive to, that people are beginning to travel perhaps a little bit more. And uh, we won't necessarily have everybody here that we, we might otherwise. But it's a great time to invite others to come and join us as well. Now immediately following this service, the closing of our worship time here, I'm asking you to stay, just for a very short time, but we are calling a brief congregational meeting, it has been called for two Sundays, in order to finish the work of the AGM back in March. We had named that we would need to bring people forward to serve on uh, MMP and uh, Treasurer, and Jim will reside at the congregational meeting so that we can make that official. So I'm asking for a, an extra little bit of time at the end of the service for us to do that necessary work for us. The prayers and the list of people that, that we're praying for and the information that we're asking um, didn't get sent to you. I didn't get my thoughts together on time to put it on paper and send it. It will go out immediately after this service with the YouTube videos for any and everybody else to see as well. So I will pass that along to you and uh, you'll be able to uh, carry that information to others that might want to know about it. One thing that is needed, uh, Mary is asking, does anybody have <coughs> large white bookcases that you are wanting to see removed from your home but are still good, functional and useful that could be placed in the minister's office. That would be a great gift, a way of getting the place ready for your new minister as well. And so if you could respond to Mary Sambell, if you have anything like that, it would be very helpful. I think those at the moment are the main things for us to be aware of. Let us continue in our worship as we sing our opening hymn. It's number 223 in the hymnal. If you want to follow with the music, the words will be on the screen. This is a hymn book song. The hymn book does not give us no, how, what is it? The copyright does not give us freedom to put it on the screen. So we need to get you to lift up your hymn book for 223 eternal, unchanging we sing.